Today I'm working on a truck for an SD70 Mac that I'm going to be painting in the CSX Tomorrow Moves paint scheme. And the first step of drawing a truck, which is basically the first step of drawing a whole locomotive too, is that you want to measure out where the truck goes, which I've basically already done that, but I can go over it here again, is that right here's where the first wheel well goes, and then here's the space, and then here's where the second wheel well goes, and then here's the space, and here's where the third wheel well goes. And it's basically, the truck starts here and it's a quarter of an inch. The first wheel wells right at a half an inch, then a half of an inch space, a half of an inch for the wheel, half of an inch space, and then a half of an inch for the next wheel. What you want to do is draw the base of the truck There's the first wheel well, the second wheel well, and the third. And you can see, measuring it out makes the, the wheels evenly spaced apart. And then I basically just use this template as a straight edge. And people ask, is there, do you use the circles? Do you use, and really the main only other place that I do is I do use them to draw the wheels. And for this size where the wheel well is a half an inch across, I use a 9 16th inch and then I put a half of an inch circle inside of it that gives the bevel here and this one's a little off there that don't be afraid to erase <laughs> and erase a lot if you need to because trust me as I've been I still practice a lot practicing is very important and it the more you practice the more that your drawings continue to improve and I the way I look at it is every train I draw is more and more practice see right there I was actually getting ahead of myself and then basically here you put a little bit of erasing myself. See, erasing is definitely part of the whole process. And then we'll put 5 sixteenths for the roller bearing. And then we put the cylinders up here. And as you practice, don't be afraid of each and every one of these details not being incredibly perfect or anything. In my drawings, they're not, you know, this one won't look like that one or anything. And it's the kind of thing where 
as a, especially as I was starting, I always felt like, oh my gosh, this one doesn't look like this one. Now I have to erase it, make it look like that. And it's the kind of thing where just over time, part of it is, is that's part of what gives your drawing character. And the thing about it is, they look close enough. And on a CSX engine, you're gonna be painting the underframe black. So just the essence of that is going to be good enough. And what I highly recommend too, is that you look at, if you can find a schematic drawing of this, that's helpful for looking at the detail of the truck or look at locomotives that have silver trucks. That's also very helpful. And um, here, now we put the traction motors in and like, for instance, when I was starting out, I didn't even know that there were traction motors on the train in the very, very beginning. I didn't know where to put them, what they were. And then I took my one of my first drawings actually to the Sioux Line locomotive shop when I was a teenager. And uh, I took it and at the they actually, uh, I was giving them out and at Sioux Line, they said, wow. And they took me into the locomotive shop and said, they pointed to the traction motors on the engine and they gave me permission to come into the yard. And they said, that's where the traction motors go. And every time I put traction motors on a drawing, I remember being shown. So I encourage you to draw trains and, you know, ask railroad workers, uh, show them your drawings and they'll uh, point out places where your drawings are correct and places where, you know, things you can add. So that's basically the truck of a SD70 Mac and I'm ultimately gonna be painting it too. All right, thanks.